Hello, just Jamie here. Thanks for checking out my latest emulation video. So before I start this video, I just want to say thanks for watching it and uh, thanks for all my subscribers you know, tuning in to watch my latest emulation videos. I do a range of different videos on my channel, music, tuition, obviously emulation, tuition, gameplay and modern games, so everything. So I need your support to upgrade the channel, as it were. I need new microphones, I need new backdrops, I can't keep going on using this. So I need a lot of stuff to enhance my channel to make it so much better. But anyway, uh, check out links in my description and enjoy the video. Take care. Hello, just Jamie here. I'm going all Welsh on you today. Thanks to everyone that voted on my community post yesterday. And we got the Dragon 32 for you. So I've gone out my way to find the best emulator for your experience with this. And all the links are in my description as always. So a little bit of background context for Dragon 32. Obviously it was produced in Wales. And the problem is this system had was that it would only type out capital letters. It couldn't do lowercase. So the educational industry found this very problem. Problematic. It also ran a processor, which was a Motorola, uh, just achieving under 1 megahertz. Whereas the Sinclair ZX Spectrum released a few months prior to the Dragon 32 releasing, and it went up to 3.5 megahertz. So uh, let's go into this tutorial then, and links in my description, as I said. Now the first thing you're going to need to be aware of is that this Dragon emulator is going to require a ROM file, which is the D32 ROM. However, there is a website, which I'm going to show you in a minute, where you can get this, as well as tons of games. Where all this is freeware by the seams of it, which is awesome. And I did mention a minute ago, but you had two versions of the Dragon. You had the Dragon 32 and the Dragon 64. Obviously, the 64 had upgraded memory, whereas the 32 was standard in the cheapest at the time when it released. So we're going to use XROAR today for this tutorial. So we're going to go to this link just here, once you hit this website, which is really good. You've got the 609.org.uk, and what you need to download is the binary version of this. I use a 64-bit CPU, Windows 11 operating system. If you use a 32-bit, then you need to download the 32-bit binary. So, uh, to find out which CPU you're running, if you just go to your search bar and type in system information, you'll see there which processor you've got. So I'm going to download the 64-bit Windows binaries. And we're going to get ourselves a zipped folder. So just drag this onto the desktop. So let's just open up this zipped file and inside you will find a folder. So just drag this one onto the desktop. Okay, you can now delete the zipped file. We no longer need this one. Uh, right, so first thing you really need to do, like I was saying, you will need to source the d32.rom. Um, if you don't have this ROM file, if we open up the application, the emulator XROAR, uh, excuse this, and if you do to get this, it's a trusted file, so it's not malicious. So run this. So yeah, if you don't have the d32.rom, this is what you're going to get. So uh, to make this into the green screen, that iconic dragon green screen, we need to drag the d32.rom into the folder so everything's all together. So when we open this again, there we go. Okay, so now everything's in place. We got the emulator itself and we got his ROM file. We're gonna need to source a game. I've already got a game here, which is a .cas, which is a cassette file. This is Chucky Egg. So link is in my description and you can choose which game uh, you'd like to play. Maybe you wanna play several games or just simply check out what Dragon 32 has to offer. So uh, link is in my description for this one, uh, colorcomputerarchive.com. So if you just go under archive just here, you're gonna find lots of different applications, games, programming, utilities, all sorts going on to support this emulator. So let's just go to games for example. And under here, you can download your .cas files. So there's plenty on there. Once you've downloaded your game, unextract it if it's a zip file. And just to make things a bit more tidy, I'm gonna drag my .cas of Chucky Egg into my XROAR folder, so everything's nice and neat. Now to load games, I'm gonna just open up XROAR. And if I go to File, I'm gonna to go to Run. 
and from run, I'm gonna select Chucky Egg. Just double left click on that and you're instantly in. Now most Dragon games would only support keyboard by the seams of it from what I've read. Good majority of the Dragon 32 games only support its keyboard so you won't be able to play a lot of these games using a controller. I've tried a couple and it won't work. There is options under hardware if you go to right joystick, left joystick. I'm sure you can configure that yourself. So I'm going to just test out Chucky Egg on my keyboard and one player. So to play this, I'm just using the cursor keys on my keyboard and space is acting as the action fire button. So of course, Chucky Egg was one of those games from the 80s for microcomputers and it was well up there with things like Jet Set, William Manic Minor. Okay, so that's all good and well. So let's actually go full screen on this. So for this, I'm going to press F11 on my keyboard. And there we have it, beautiful full screen. Okay, so to exit full screen, press F11 again. And if you want to mess around with the colours on this emulator to give it more of a retro look, a slight blurry effect, uh, all we're going to need to do is go to view, and from view you can mess around with TV input and composite rendering. So you've got your .cast up and running and that's all good and well, but let's say you've got a disk image file. To load disks with this emulator, all you're going to need to do is the same process as .cast files, just go to file. And then it's got four drives on there, so drive one represents your disk drive one, two is disk drive two, and so on. So for example, if I want to play a game on disk, I'm going to just go to drive one, insert disk, and I'm going to find that disk under here. Same process, so double left click on it, and it will boot up for you. Okay, so say you want to run a Dragon game and you need a bit more memory, so all we're going to do is just go up to hardware if we go to machine. You've got a range of different machines here, and you've got a lot of Tandy options here. Reason being is that Tandy was very similar to Dragon. So I'm just going to go to Dragon 64 and I'm going to change this to the 64 model. Okay, so that's about it for the Dragon 32 x Roar tutorial. If you're new to the channel, check out my other emulation videos. I love microcomputers, it's a big hobby and passion of mine. Uh, also support me on Patreon or buy me a cup of coffee. I love my coffee. So until next time, see you later and thanks again for all your votes.